he's very quiet, he's very thoughtful. He digests the information and then he comes out with, uh, well, if this is what we need to do, then this is what we need to do. What a tremendous load to put on the, on the shoulders of a teenage kid. It's unbelievable. I can tell you right now, I wouldn't have been strong enough to carry that burden. My mother was in rehab and not doing very well. My mother said that when he left, he gave one of the most moving prayers that she has ever heard in her life. That's James Olds. Having grown up in Birmingham in those days, which were at times scary, at times confusing, and and all those things, and there was so many, uh, there was so much fear of, uh, of the unknown. I think history has proven that James was the right person at the right time. However, even to use those terms, the right person at the right time, is really an indictment of those times. Without him, excuse me, without him being aware of it, he contributed a lot to the university and to Auburn football. I always like to say he was Bo Jackson before there was a Bo Jackson. I felt an obligation when I came to Auburn. I didn't realize, uh, again, the magnitude. Uh, I didn't think about being the first black. All of those things never entered my mind as being the first. And it was, I was playing something that I love, football. And once I got here, uh, the pressure was even greater. He was standing in the huddle. I guess we had ran about eight or nine times in a row. And I looked at him and big tears were coming out of his eyes. And he, he was grimacing with, with pain. I knew it was. And I asked him what was wrong. And he said, it's either my shoulder or my collarbone or my sternum. He said, he said I said, you okay? Let's get somebody else. He said, no. No. It's an honor, you know, and um, it, it makes me feel proud, you know, to wear the name on my back. I was in, in uh, Birmingham UAB to see if I'm eligible for a heart transplant. Uh, this is a struggle that I never thought I'd have to go through. He said, you know, back then, I kind of felt alone. I don't think he realized, you know, uh, up until recently, his importance to the Auburn family. What he did was more courageous and has put a stamp in Auburn history, and especially athletics, being the first African-American football player to play at Auburn, I think is far beyond any awards, anything. He, he's just a special, courageous guy. And I asked you, look out here at all these players. Do they have any idea what price James paid for them to be there on the field? And I remember your answer instantly, no. No, they don't. And I know they don't. But we did, we knew.